Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. All righty. Uh, the other thing I wanted to bring to your attention is just a few minutes ago, I heard this political nuisance. One Chilufia Tayali, he went over to Livingston there. And as you know, he's been going to court as we all are. OK, let's just full disclosure. I'm going to court for the same thing. You know, uh, Chilufia Tayali went on his television show and he basically accused Chief Mukuni of being involved in the gassing saga, which was a very irresponsible statement because everybody knows that the gassing episode in our country was a very sensitive, very volatile, very explosive issue. But Tayali being who he is, being the irresponsible loud mouth that he is, he went on his channel and he started saying, Chief Mukuni was involved in the gassing. And guess what? What happened? Tayali got sued. Now, Tayali today, earlier, he came out and said, Well, I've held a press conference in Livingston, and I'm here to apologize. I'm going to apologize to the chief and i'm going to apologize to the whole world because after all i'm human <laughs> everybody knows the reason he's apologized is because he knows the noose is tightening around his neck he's got nowhere to go they got him fixed is what it is boy I tell you what they boxed him into a corner he knows the man's in trouble as muhammad ali used to say the man's in trouble yeah, we, we've all been there. I mean, I've, I've had my own taste of that. You know, as you know, uh, Tosilo Lungu has sued me uh, because I said some stuff that we're still in court about, so I'm not really going to say too much. And we're going to go where the evidence takes us is, is basically what it is. You know, and uh, the stuff that's going to come out there is going to shock you. It's going to shock you it's gonna it's gonna mess you up is what it is okay so anyway uh tayali has apologized now uh, here's the thing about politicians the reason people like him apologize is because they know that when they apologize to a chief or a politician the the, the manipulation there is that because i've apologized and because you are a leader it is incumbent upon you to forgive me because if you don't have a forgiving heart then what type of leader are you do you see the manipulation the manipulation is so it's so stark it's so evident it's so it's so vivid all of these chaps do this whenever you apologize to a politician the politician feels the pressure especially in zambia in zambia so because it means you're not a leader it means which means you see how we oversimplify oversimplify things in zambia we oversimplify everything if you are a true leader otherwise you to take us yet how are you going to take care of us if you can't forgive him <laughs> and tayali knows this he knows this and then that's the reason they do it okay all right uh guys as you know let's talk about the main deal uh the patriotic the neck the, the 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 notorious patriotic front the npf they were supposed to hold a rally today today being the 26th of august 2023 okay i gotta make sure of this all right gotta change this here and you know they made this big hoopla 
about the rally. They said they were, they were going to do this thing. And then the police said, you can't do it. And I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to tell you a trick that these politicians use, these kadas, these shysters use when dealing with politicians. So here it is. Initially, the police refused the NPF's request to hold a rally. So a delegation led by Rafael Savimbi Nakachinda went to see the Minister of Home Affairs, Vajak Mwimbu. They came out of that meeting. Vajak Mwimbu asked Nakachinda's delegation, go to the police, they will guide you. Nakachinda and his group turn around and say, no, if you minister, minister. That's a power play. Most people don't see through it. Whenever you, do, you go to one authority and then you go to someone slightly above that authority and you emerge from this authority and you begin to make statements like, oh no, if you're not Tsuminisha, you create a conflicting atmosphere that confuses the observers. It confuses viewers. It confu confuses listeners. It is a deliberate ploy. It is a deliberate machination to, to, to sort of mislead the public. Rafael Savimbi Nakachinda knew good and hell well what he was doing when, when he first received the communique from the police that this rally was not to take place because of security and safety concerns, which are legitimate. But Rafael Savimbi Nakachinda goes to see by Jack Wimbo. He emerges from that, telling lies, talking about how no, if we're now to be a minister, which means the minister's decision has overridden the IG's decision. All of this was done to mislead and to create a smoke screen and, and mislead the public. Well, now that the dust has settled, now that the dew has dried. Guess what's happened? This morning, if indeed this rally was supposed to be as important as they portrayed, which really it wasn't. I mean, who holds a rally without a legitimate selected leader? The NPF, as we sit here now, they don't know who the hell's going to lead them in 2026. They have no idea. They're just shooting in the dark. Who holds a so-called strategic rally without a leader? How do you go to war without a general? How do you go to war without directives? How do you go to war without an objective? That's what the NPF were basically doing, putting the cart before the horse. So here it is this morning. If indeed this rally was important, which it wasn't, this morning, former president, six president Ed Galungu was out jogging. If this rally was really important, you think Walungu would have gone jogging? No, Walungu would have been sitting around with, with the, the, the team strategizing. What are we going to talk about? What message are we going to give our supporters? What do we expect to achieve from this bogus attempt of shooting in the dark? Nagajinda, what are your ideas? What are you saying? GBM, what do you think? Miles, where's Miles? Somebody call Miles. Where's Miles? Is he coming? No, he's not coming. No. Well, get him on the phone. And somebody get me a latte while we're talking. None of that happened. The president, the former president, the sixth president, woke up and he went jogging, which tells you. What do you think that tells you? I'm going to ask you. I ask you, my viewers. What do you think that, that says? Tell me in the comments below. What do you think that says when, when someone presents this idea that they're about to, to launch a groundbreaking, cataclysmic, seismic shift of a rally? And then all of a sudden, one of the key players in, in this whole scheme of things, one of the key players, uh, the sixth president, uh, Edgar Lungu, who's a key player, He's out jogging in the morning. What, what does that say to you? Tell me in the comments below. Tell me, tell me what it says.
and then I'll highlight, I'll highlight your comment. Tell me what it says. I'm going to highlight your comment. If you tell me what it says, what does that imply? Come on, guys. Here we go. There you go. Boom. It says he was not part of the plan and shows that it was not important. Boom. That's absolutely correct. Thank you. Who was that? That's Dan. Cuckoo. Is that Dan or Don? Dan. That's what it means. So basically, the NPF were just creating a tea and a, a storm in a teacup. The NPF were just, you know, they were just grasping at straws. The NPF was just creating a hullabaloo for nothing. The NPF were making noise in, in, in a room full of silence for the sake of making noise. Here's my admonition to the NPF. Stop fooling around. You clowns don't have time. You think you have time. Stop this nonsense of crisscrossing this nation, talking about things that are inconsequential. Roll up your sleeves. Select a leader from amongst you. Tell the Zambian people what you're going to offer as an alternative. Don't play patty cake, patty cake, baker man. Don't tiptoe through the tulips. Get serious. 2026 is around the corner and you guys are playing drafts instead of playing chess. Clowns. All right. All right. I thought I'd share that with you. A couple of comments. Here we go. Oh, here's, I want to I I read this. It says, when you say that they canceled it for security purposes, why was the police all over the... This is a good question, and let me tell you, I know what he thinks he's saying. What he's saying, or what he's implying, this is Richard. Richard is implying that, no, the police shouldn't have even been there, that they should have just allowed people to assemble. Do you know what type of lawlessness happens without police presence? Especially when it comes to, the, to a group, a rebellious, notorious group like the NPF, the Notorious Patriotic Front. Do you honestly think that without police presence, that's wise? It's never wise. It's never wise to have a, political, a politically charged rally where you've got leaders like Rafael Savimbi Nakachinda, who mean no good for this country, Rafael, Nakachinda, Rafael Savimbi Nakachinda would be very pleased to see this nation erupt in violence. People that have no care, no concern, no love, not a patriotic bone in his body. You think people like that, after proselytizing and preaching a rebellious message of retribution, revenge, and hate? You think those kids are going to act normal? No. They're going, they, they would go into riot mode. So you need the police in any setting, in any political environment, whether it's the NPF, the UPND, MMD, you need police presence. So get it out of your minds when you say, no, the police should not have been there. D do you realize how decadent, do you realize how close we would come to pure chaos if we didn't have the police? I mean, imagine a world with no police. That's what you'd be dealing with. Okay? Watch the movie The Purge. Then you have an idea of a society, a lawless society, void of police presence. It's chaos. Anyway, thought I'd share that with y'all. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.